Let us see in more detail how we simplify a PDA. First thing we do is we need to go for all, we, we take our original PDA, right? And we look at all, all of our accepting states. And then what we need to do is we connect all of them to a central state, a new state that we create, let's call it Q4. Uh, and we connect the original accepting states to this new state, all with epsilon transitions. Then what we need to do is we need to empty the stack. So we're going to have a self loop for every element in your alphabet. So let's say your alphabet is A and B, you would have, uh, you would pop A and then another one where you would pop B, but not push anything back and not read anything from the input. So you do all of that in Q4. And then you draw a transition from Q4 to a new state, let's call it Q5, which is the new and only accepting state. And you connect uh, from Q4 to Q5 and you just pop the dollar sign just to make sure you've uh, accepted the string. So this is the first condition, which says that all um, that your simplified PDA, PDA must have a single accepting state and must have empty its stack before accepting. Again, in any regular PDA, you, you don't need to empty the stack to accept a string. But in a simplified PDA, you do have to do that. And you have to make sure that the PDA is like that, in that format. So the next uh, and final transformation to simplify a PDA is really to look at all your edges and uh, look at edges that, have, that are either uh, pushing and popping in the same um, transition, or they are neither pushing nor popping. So they're just skipping doing something on the stack. On either of those cases, we need to change it such that the transition either only pushes or only pops, but not nothing and not both. So not neither and not both. So let's see what we do. If we have both, we first pop and then push. So we create an in, a new state. Let's call it Q3 in the middle, where we first pop and then we push. So very simple. And if we have um, an epsilon transition, what we do is we push any symbol. It doesn't matter. We create a new state in the middle and we push any symbol that we can pick. And then we pop that single same symbol again. Uh, no incoming edges go to Q3 besides from Q1. And only one goes to Q2. And that's basically it. So let's look at this example. We have this PDA. The question is, if you look at this PDA, is this PDA simplified? So I'm going to let you think, and then I'm going to start talking about the PDA, and eventually I'm going to give the answer. So if you want to pause, please pause now. OK, I hope you paused. So now let's see if what I'm going to explain confirms your intuition. So is this PDA simplified? Let's see. So one condition is there's a single accepting state. Well, there's a single accepting state in this one. That is good. Um, does it empty the stack before accepting? Yes. We, did, we started by pushing the symbol dollar sign, and here we're popping the dollar sign, which is fine. So that's good. Um, what else do we do? Every transition is one of these forms, either epsilon C or C epsilon. Let's see. Epsilon, epsilon, uh-oh, this one is not. So this is not simplified, just because of this one. So let's see if there are more. This is character and epsilon. Sorry, epsilon and character. So that's fine. So this one is good. What about this one? This is epsilon, epsilon. That's also bad. So it's also not simplified. Let's look here. Here we pop and uh, don't push, so that's good. But in this case, we do two skips, so that's also bad. And finally, we only do a push, but no pop. That's good. So to confirm, I highlighted in green the ones that are OK, and in red the ones that are not OK, that are not simplified. So now what I would like you to do is try to correct the PDA such that it becomes simplified. So can you do that? So please pause the video. Try to do that on your own notebook. OK, so let's see how to convert it. You just create a new state, let's call it Q1 prime, where you 
um, here you had epsilon and now you have you're pushing uh, a and then popping a uh, and in q3 from q3 to q2 we had an epsilon transition and now q3 we have a q2 prime where we push b and then we pop b again it doesn't need to be b but it's any letter would do it could be a again it could be a little skull it really doesn't matter as long as you uh, push and then pop and that's basically it and now it's simplified